just joined us, then welcome to Austria, country number two on Scenic's Jewels of Europe journey, which I'm lucky enough to be enjoying with my bestie, Jane Turner. With just a few hundred residents, the charming town of Dernstein is one of the smallest but most visited villages in Austria. It's an enchanting mix of medieval and Baroque architecture with a labyrinth of cobbled lanes and pastel-hued houses as pretty as puddings. But it's Dernstein's abbey with its blue Baroque tower that is the town's true iconic drawcard. Now, being on holiday, Jane and I have indulged or should I say, engorged ourselves. But these onboard bites mean we can do all the guilt-free gourmandizing we desire as we pedal off those petty falls. Now, Jane, I know you're from Melbourne, you conquered the great indoors, but, you know, I'm from Sydney, so we're quite sporty. Oh, so yeah. I'll probably be much faster, but I'll, I'll wait. I'll, oh, I'll, I'll yeah, come back. Because I'm hopeless. Yeah, I'm, I'm just so unsporty. I'll try and circle back for you, so, oh, yeah, so don't wait, worry. Instead of sailing the few hours between Dernstein and our next port of call, Melk, we're taking the 30-kilometre journey at our own pace. Or in Jane's case, a suspiciously fast pace. You've been eating your Vegemite, Jane! Bye! Hey! I guess I just naturally fit. A natural athlete. Oh, wait for me! See you there! Bye! See, I'm not as fit as I thought I was. After a little tinkering, I'm up to speed. These are, in fact, electric bikes. You still get exercise, it just feels as though your bike has drunk an espresso. I love the way the building's all different colours. Yeah, it's so pretty. Pistachio, buttercup yellow. <laughs> when the journey is this good, it's easy to forget about the destination. But Melk is one of the prettiest stops on the entire cruise with a Benedictine monastery presiding over the undulating Danube and the sleepy little town below. 31k. I can't Not believe bad. it. I've never ridden that far. OK, it was an electric bike. <laughs> I was a little bit assisted. But I love the fact it's a tailored bike tour. It's a bespoke tour. Get it, spoke. Oh, Kathy, you're... Actually, that's a really good joke. <laughs> Dag. Oh. But cheers. Here's to us. Bon. As a social climber, I have a total head for heights, which is just as well as we're now in the Austrian Alps. Salzburg is a medieval haven of concert halls and Mozart memorabilia. The child prodigy was born and raised here, composed his first piece age five, then went on to write over 600 symphonies and sonatas. In fact, he wrote the Linz Symphony in one night. What a total underachiever. Who are you talking about? Mozart, darling. Who's he? Look, there's Captain Von Trapp, Christopher Plummer. Come on, it's gone. Clearly, Jane's appreciation for the musical boy wonder of the 18th century has been overshadowed by Salzburg's most recent creative claim to fame as the setting for one of the highest grossing films of all time, The Sound of Music. They say if it's Baroque, don't fix it. And that saying suits Salzburg to a traditional tea. The storybook old town hasn't changed since Mozart was cavorting around here in his powdered wigs 250 years ago. Wait, well, there's Mozart's house. There's Mozart's house. Let's go in there. No, come on. It's, it's Wolfie. Me. me. Wolfie. You're so mean. <sighs> Clearly, Jane and I have different melodic obsessions here in Salzburg, but it doesn't matter which beat your feet tap to, because music is the city's lifeblood. Austria is the music capital of the world. So many famous composers lived here. Haydn, Beethoven, Liszt, Mahler, Schumann, Schubert, Strauss, Freud. OK, he didn't play an instrument, but he did deal with highly strung people. And most famous of them all, Mozart. He was the rock star of his day. Who? Mozart, Wolfie. Oh, Mozart, Mozart, Kathy. Look, Captain Von Trapp. Sound of music aficionados like our Jane come from all over the world to have their Maria I do moment and discover their alter egos. In such magnificent landscape, it's easy to get swept up in the romantic moment. Jane, Jane, do, do you hear that? What? The hills are alive. Oh, what well, with? The sound of music. Oh, oh. Nothing like doing a bit of Julie Andrews twirling in the Alpine meadow to make you feel like finding a lonely goat herd. And the hills are indeed alive with the sounds of a spectacular performance Scenic have created exclusively for us. A 
supremely talented cast of locals has brought to life the 1960s classic with songs that are sewn into our collective cultural tapestry. So, <laughs> how do you solve a problem of playing Maria? I mean, Julie Andrews. The biggest shoes in the world to fill. I mean, like no pressure. Yeah, no pressure. <laughs> well, it's it's quite a responsibility, yeah. <laughs> as you can imagine. I mean, when you when you enter the concert hall with all the senior guests, you can just feel their thrill of anticipation. You know, so it, but it's so much fun. It's so much fun playing this positive role. You yes. know, with these uplifting songs, it's really. Heartwarming. And, and right here, I feel as though I've fallen into a frame of the movie. Yes. Because, but this is where Maria actually bonded with the children. Yes, yes, yes. This is one of the main scenes I think everyone uh, remembers from the film as well. So, and here we are at the famous steps yes. where they were singing Do Re Mi. Do and if you want to join oh, me, oh, you can just sing it. Okay. okay, let's see. Mm. Do a deer, a female deer, ray a drop of golden sun. Me, a name I call myself, far a long, long way to run. So, a needle pulling thread, la, a note to follow so. Tea, a drink with jam and bread, that will bring us back to the... 